Here's a cool keyboard trick that you can do with Visual Studio Code if you're using JavaScript or any other language that might do something similar like this with a constructor. So what I've done here is to define um, a class called Superpowers. It has a constructor, has speed, has strength, has heat vision, is green. Uh, I realize in TypeScript this would be a lot easier to do, but I'm using JavaScript here. And with JavaScript, I have to now define these properties. So I have to go this dot has speed equals has speed. And I got to do that for each and every single one of these properties over here. You can see these ones aren't used until I've assigned this to that property so that it's part of the superpowers. But a quick little trick that I could do is I could highlight all of these here, copy them, paste, and then on my first line over here, I'm just going to select that blank space, hit Command-D on, um, Command on Mac or Control-D on Windows. Select those. I have a multi-cursor over here. What I can do then is type this dot. Then with Mac, I'm going to hit Shift, Option, and Right to select the word. And then at the end of the word, I'm going to hit Equal, B, Delete that line over there the uh, comma, hit save, and look at that, created my constructor. Hit escape to get rid of my multi-cursor. I've created my constructor and assigned those properties really quickly. So let's do that again. I'm gonna delete that, go over here, put those on my clipboard, put them here, go to the front, select that empty space, type this dot, select that word, let write equal, paste, write, Get rid of that, save, there you go. Quick way of creating your constructors using the multiple cursor function in Visual Studio.